Okay, while my point's quite sharp on my pencil, I'm actually going to start with his main features. So um, I'm doing it in white charcoal because I like to follow all the white areas and you probably won't be able to see them very well, the white charcoal marks, but um, I'll explain exactly what I'm doing and where I'm going as I go so you'll get an idea. So I'm going to just do his features around here. Um, first of all, um, so we're just going on the inside of this black line of his eye. Now things like this have to be done really carefully because that's his character, the shape of his eyes, very important. So we're just going to go in on the inside of that black line. And I'm not pressing hard. Don't need to press too hard and you can check it as you go to make sure that everything is coming out nicely. I've already done that actually. Uh, but yeah, if you don't press too hard, uh, there's a little white bit in there. See, I've gone the other side of that line. Then I'm going underneath the black line of his eye. His eye. Lid, I suppose. Then I'm doing that white bit there. Then I'm going on top of that black line, this eyelid, and on the outside of that little nut, black line there. Now if I was doing it this in black, it would really confuse the issue because you, you would see another black line there. And it is, it is confusing. So this is why I've chosen white to do it. Although you won't be able to see the mark very well, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just literally going over the white areas, the whitest areas. Okay, now there's a lot of white in his eye here, so I'm just going over that. And then around his pupil. So then we've got another little white area here. I like to hold the paper steady, uh, but as I said, it's, it, it needs to be loose so that you can lift it up and check it. I'll do that when we've done this, all of his face. Some white areas. There's a lighter area there. And around there. There's his outer line there. That's very light. You could actually put that line in there. And here, here. I think I'm going to need to move that before I go up there. So we'll just carry on with this side of his face. See, he's got the little black line there down to his lips. Go either side of that. Don't go on it, because it's black. In, in some other cases, you may have to go on that line. If it's very dark and you want to use trace down paper that's very um, uh, dark. You know, you could use the, the graphite colour. And just put a light line around like that. Do this white line there, and then out on the outside of that black line, we go, and then on the inside of his eye. Very careful, even with this bit. And he's got the little white marks there. 
of the men and these people and the line there don't worry about the lines these this will come off um, and when you pestle over it it just disappears this is why it's so good this paper uh, because it keeps the lines on there for as long as you need them On, see the darker area there? It's gone on the outside of that. I've probably done that already. I do tend to do that a bit. I kind of lose your place a bit, so don't worry about that. Just the main thing is that you check it after and make sure you've got everything that you want on there. Now, this line here. His hair is going over his chin. You can't see the bottom of his chin. Nose, they always tend to be white. The edge of their noses. Then on the outside of the line that's going up into his nose, not on it. In the darker area around. Don't go on the darker area, I mean. Go around it. And then when you come to draw your picture, you'll it'll all be there. It'll be so easy for you. Just it's then it's just colouring in really. That's all it is. You're just colouring it all in. And depending on how you've enhanced your photo, you can either stick to the colours or get carried away and do something else colour-wise with it if you want to. I'm just going to try and get it as close to my picture as I can. I'll see that in a sec. Now, these hairs go up here, so I'm, I'm just doing that. And then down. And across. Um, I don't think you really need to put these whiskers in. You know, you can put those over the top. If you feel you want to, you can just give yourself an idea of where they are. Like that. Just give yourself a little marker. They're actually quite useful for measuring, actually. So we'll do it on this side as well. Don't do it all the way, because they, they taper off at the end. When we put those in at the end, it's very fine. It's very light touch with whiskers. This, you wouldn't do them this hard. Not on this picture. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what we've got there. There he is. He's all there, ready to go. They've come out much more faint, those marks there, haven't they? But you can go over it afterwards and then um, make it more clear. If anything isn't really clear to you, you look at this and then draw it on. Always use your, your best copy. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera up so I'll show you to do his ears. 
and I'll just sharpen up the pencil a bit as well. 